This is Hannibal from TheHannibalTV.com and I'm with two ECW originals here. Both men have also recently done shoot interviews with me here on The Hannibal TV. Just incredible and the franchise Shane Douglas, first ever ECW champion. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I'm here at the uh, wonderful ECW arena that uh, you know, stems back to 1993. I mean, uh, you know, we, we as a promotion created this building, so uh, it's just wonderful to be back in our, uh, you know, in the, the house we built. It's, it's, we were talking, the walls could talk, right? The, the stories that they would tell. The fans know a lot of them, the fans don't know a lot of them. Uh, but what an incredible building. And I, 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 this sounds like a cliche, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I've been in the Budokan, I've been in the Tokyo Dome, I've been in Madison Square Garden, Pittsburgh Civic Arena, LA Forum. Any building on the planet, I'd be in this building. There was a, we were talking to the fans earlier, there was a magic in this building. In all the years I've been in the business, I never saw that kind of magic before ECW, and I haven't seen it since. And it wasn't that we were working, we were working hard. I've seen other people work hard. Uh, it, we had a great promotion, other people had great promotions. But there was, it was just like the moons had lined up right, the, the magic that was in this building. And you talk to the fans, that's our recollection of it. You talk to the fans, and the fans remember it as being magical. You know, there was never a down night here, a bad night in this building. Yeah. Phenomenal memories. I, th I think the fans uh, were as much part of the show than, uh, than everything else. They just accentuated and made everything better. They, they always wanted, uh, they demanded the best. And uh, therefore, when we knew we went through that curtain, we had to give them the best. So really, the fans, it was a very unique relationship between ourselves and the fans. It was, it was great. Well, I had the easy stick, right? Because I was I was part of the original group. I would have hated to be like like Peach and others coming in that second, third wave, because this was a hard crowd to get over. They, if you screwed up, they would let you know it. You know, so I was on the ground floor. Thank God. Any memories of wrestling each other in here? Uh, one of my best matches of my entire career was in this building with this man right here. And I literally, I don't know if the post is still there. Uh, I believe it is. Um, I literally uh, banged Shane's head about 10 times on the apron and I picked him up on my shoulder and I rammed his head into the pillar right there. And that pillar literally shook the building. And uh, no, he didn't put his hands up, no protection. And uh, it, it was like, and it literally right there, everybody didn't, it wasn't even holy shit right away. It was, oh. So uh, one of the I best. Look this handsome today. Yes, <laughs> yes, but but it was one of the best matches I've ever had to this day. We in that match, it was towards the end of my run, and the the, the torch was being passed to PJ. PJ was on his game. I was on my game. And if I remember, we didn't even talk before the match. We like a few few words, and we went out and had the match. And you know, when you're in the ring, you've been in the ring. You get into that groove, and you know you're dancing, right? And, and everything is hitting. You don't have to think. It just sort of happens. And uh, the only person I've ever pressed in my career was PJ that night. We had the railing in the turnbuckle, and I saw him coming out. And just, Light as a feather through him, and it was just, it just happened. You know, it was a, no, no forethought to it was or easy. No, it, it looked beautiful, and uh, like Andy fully extended me on the press slam, which is more impressive. But uh, yeah, it was just uh, anytime we worked, we had great chemistry, and uh, like I said, it was one of the best matches in my career. And you want to let the fans know where they can follow you guys uh, if they want to check in with you on social media? Well, I, I, like I told you before on the Hannibal TV, I, I, I've got one social media outlet. It's the Franchise SD on Twitter. And I understand you, just, you posted one of the segments we've recorded yes, right on Hannibal I TV. Did, yeah. Can't wait to see it. Good stuff. Uh, for me, it's uh, PJ Polacco on Twitter. Also, the same thing, PJ Polacco on Instagram. And if you could, please go over to ProWrestlingTees.com backslash Just Incredible. You'll get all the uh, wonderful over 24 t-shirts, both old and new, uh, you know, so check them out. Excellent. We've already had some requests for a follow-up interview with you, so maybe down the road. Uh, we know we're going to get an episode three with Shane, but maybe we'll get an episode two with you as well. That would be wonderful. Anything you want.
Excellent. He always comes with a great big stack of questions that I talk so much right that he gets about half, two thirds of the way down through and always more left over. So, well, that's better than I love Daddy Spivey, but he went through three and a half pages in about twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's the scary part when you're uh, half an hour in and you've said all of your questions. Yeah. But we don't have to worry about that with either one of you guys. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Want to sh finish this off with a quick uh, promo? Hey, welcome to the building that the franchise and ECW built. The ECW arena at the corner of Swanson and Rittner. Do it or get your ass franchised. <laughs> and real quick, the ECW arena, Shane Douglas, and of course Hannibal TV. That's not just the coolest, and that's not just the best. Hannibal TV is just incredible.